I can remember another little birdie that gave me. They told me to ask about uh, trail sugs. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a good uh, there's a good trail sug story for sure. So Sis is his nickname is what we we call him. He um, it was again what, what, my, what's uh, his nickname? I missed that. Sis, got it. Sis, Sis is his nickname. So I finished my last six games at college playing left tackle because of injury. I was normally a right right sided player. Well. Come training camp, it was uh, it was another one of those first days we were in pads, and it was actually the first day that we were in pads. We had a couple of practices. It was the first real day when you put the pads on, like that's when the stuff becomes real. Well, I was playing left tackle, and that was not my my position to play. I'm just not a, like just the left side of um, just your muscle memory was off. Well, I'd never been put on my back playing football, like in college, high school. Sis, first day of pads, sis put me on my not even on my back. I would say on the back of my head, which was like uh, an oh shit moment as far as for just me as a football player. caught you off player. guard or just? No, 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 no. He didn't caught me off guard. He just like, he literally like, yeah, he 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 caught me. Like I was, you know, I was thinking a speed move. He was going to work a, a, a speed move up the field. And then he went to the bowl and I, I didn't uh, catch it right away. But still normally you would get caught and maybe hop a couple of times and brace and get him stopped. Well, he literally caught me and, and planted me. And it was just like, it was a... Uh, uh, a big wake up call that I was in the NFL and these guys are grown men and very strong, powerful. And like, and I just thought I was naive as a young player thinking that like, well, no matter what happens, I don't care. Nobody's put me on my back, you know? And he literally put me on my, on the back of my neck, like the first day. So I was, uh, I had some soul searching to do, you know, that first day. Like that probably could have been the best thing that ever happened to you though. Well, and it's, and it, I definitely was always, you know, you know, the go back to your, the tools and the things that you do to succeed, to use. And I was like, Hey, it's, it's one day. You know what I mean? Like I had some doubts in my mind. Am I going to be able to play at this level? And that was only one day, but you know, the next day, you know, I, I, uh, you know, refocused, uh, recalibrated and just said, Hey, I'm going to go fight my ass off the next day and see what happens and see where the chips fall. No matter how bad a day that was. And that did put some doubt in me, but I was going to continue to fight. And, uh, and by the end of my rookie year, I had started 12 games and, uh, and I definitely, um, knew I could play at the end of the year, but it's one of those deals where, like you, like you said, my, my career has not always been just success, you know, and obviously I was very successful by the end of the, by the end of it, but like there was days like that where I got put on my back and feeling like, Hey, you know, I got, you know, I, uh, was a Juco beat the odds, made it to Iowa division one. Then I was fortunate enough to be drafted, but gosh, you know, this might be it guys get drafted in the third round and they bust. It happens a lot. So I, I was like, Hey, that, that might be me. But obviously, I um, I continue to fight, and uh, and things really, uh, you know, really turned out great. Mm-hmm.